Welcome to Busan EFM News at 10. I'm Jenny He. The younger brother of President Park Geun-hye was questioned by prosecutors today over a widening scandal involving a leaked presidential document. According to the presidential document leaked to the media, Chung in hye is alleged to have held regular meetings with several senior presidential officials and sought to collude with them to replace presidential chief of staff Kim Gi-chun. Chung served as an advisor for President Park when she was a lawmaker and has never held any official position in the current administration. Dismissing the document dated January the 6th as groundless, Chong last week filed a live suit against the local Daily Sega Times, which first reported the allegations. Park Ji-man, head of EG Corporation, told reporters that he will tell the truth to prosecutors as he showed up at the Seoul District Prosecutor's Office in Southern Seoul at around 2.30 p.m. today. Police summoned again a Korean-American woman today for questioning over her alleged remarks sympathetic to the communist regime during a series of on-stage talk shows. Shin and Mi arrived at the Seoul Metropolitan Police Agency headquarters around 6 p.m. She is to face another round of questioning over allegations that she, along with her co-host Pang Son, made remarks sympathetic toward Pyongyang and glorified the communist regime during the talks. A day earlier, the 53-year-old Shin underwent a seven-hour questioning. This came after conservative groups filed a complaint against the duo, accusing them of violating the national security law that prohibits any anti-state activities, attempting to praise, encourage or propagandize North Korean political ideals. In local news, the Busan Metropolitan Police Agency said that it will conduct a complete enumeration on the crew capacity of deep-sea fishing vessels by the 29th. The inspection is following the tragedy of the trawler Oryong 501. The ship sunk in the West Bering Sea on December the 1st and reported not only the lack of essential crew members but also uncertified crew members. The inspection will include 342 vessels from 75 ship companies, including Sajo. First wages of graduates in Busan marked a 2.3 million won average this year. The Busan Employers Federation announced this year's wage trend after surveying 126 companies in Busan. The biggest wage earners were from construction companies with 2.37 million won followed by manufacturers with 2.36 million won, wholesales and retailers with 2.27 million won, and telecommunications with 2.25 million won. The Immigration Office of the Ministry of Justice discovered 630 illegal aliens this year within the jurisdictions of Yangsan, Liyang and Kimi City. Most illegal aliens that were caught had entered the country legally and overstayed their visit to earn money. The Immigration Office explained in particular that the medical tourism visa has been wrongfully used as a new way to stay illegally. For more than two months, activists have staged sit-ins in the center of the shopping district of Causeway Bay, along with two other areas. The biggest protest site in the Admiralty area was dismantled by police last week. After today's clearance, Hong Kong leader C. Y. Long declared an end to the illegal occupation activities. Are normal. The morning low 
will be 5 in Busan, 4 in Busan, and 3 in Changwon. And the highs will be 6 in Busan and Busan, and 5 in Changwon. It is currently 3 degrees here in Busan. That's all for this hour's news, and thank you for joining us. Now you're listening to Busan EFM.